I'm an Robert Dean Steele, and this is Real Dads, the video version of Real Dads, which is the magazine that I produce online. Well, I want to talk to you today about a very important phrase. The phrase is, will you forgive me? You see, that's a phrase that you need to be consciously about, because you are going to make all kinds of mistakes, Dad, both with your spouse and with your children. And you need to admit that you're wrong. Because if you never admit that you're wrong, you never say that you're sorry, what you're doing is you're building resentment in your kids. Your kids will begin to think, well, my dad doesn't care. My dad's going to say what he's going to say, he's going to do what he's going to do, and he doesn't care about my feelings. But when you say, I am sorry, three little words, or will you forgive me, four little words, you make all the difference in the world. Yes, we all blow it. And sometimes we hurt our kids' feelings. And when our intentions are better than our actions, when we try to do something and we blow it, you know what? Just simply admit that you're wrong. It Make a sincere plea for forgiveness. Model being a dad who gets down to their level and admits that you haven't got it all together. And you know what? You say, listen, I don't have it all together. I blew it. Will you forgive me? I'm sorry. You know what's going to happen? She's going to forgive you. They're going to forgive you. Isn't that wonderful to know? Because children, by nature, are forgiving people. They want to forgive you. They want to be connected with you. And what you need to do is let go of that crazy pride that you have. Or that thought in your mind, I can never let down my guard. Let your guard down. And let your children see that you're a real father. A man who makes mistakes. But a man who's willing to admit those mistakes. Get up. Ask for forgiveness. Receive it. And go on in your lives together. It'll be a bonding and powerful moment for both of you. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is Real Dads, and you have yourself a great and godly day.